hi guys welcome to my page welcome to my channel i want to quickly show us how i make my egusi uh, soup this soup can be used to eat um rice or even swallow so please sit back and enjoy this video okay so here i have my palm oil very important this is the egusi here grounded one this is my onions, this is pepper, fresh pepper, you can use dry one, this is the dry one, you can use dry one if you want. Here I have my salt, my crayfish, my seasoning cubes, then I have my achi here in case the egusi is not getting thick. I can put achi a thickener or I can use gari, I can just sprinkle gari on it, okay, it will thicken it. Just be careful with it. Here I have my protein, assorted meat my dry fish my smoked fish my stock fish and i have my ugo here okay so i'm still going to put a leaf if i want okay so without wasting time let's go straight to the video so my meat my fish everything is boiled to perfection okay i've already boiled that off camera and it's ready next thing is to just put my pot on the fire allow it to get dried while that is getting dry then the egusi i'm going to just put warm water mix that up get it ready for me to fry it okay just mix that up already mix it very well make sure it's properly properly mixed okay now that's my protein sitting pretty then i'm going to go ahead and add fish um red oil allow it to be hot okay just make sure it's hot not too hot okay that's all my ingredients my chopped pepper my onions chopped okay and my vegetables i have my ogo leaf there and my ozusa leaf there and my protein all are ready okay so i'm just going to go ahead and start frying the uh, um egusi yeah this is oil the oil is hot i'll just put little onions just to let it simmer a bit okay just going to put little onions there then i'll start scooping in my egusi gradually just small after the other just small by small like that i'm going to start scooping it in okay so when you are frying this don't allow it to don't allow it to um get dried on the bottom so make sure you just turn it in almost immediately don't leave it unattended too just keep stirring it make sure it's getting dry to your satisfaction don't leave it don't leave it unattended because it's going to get burnt and you will not want that okay i'm going to go ahead and just turn this on and on and on make sure it's dry to my satisfaction so after that i'm just going to go ahead and add the remaining egusi water okay just to like wash everything out just add that turn that again turn that again after turning that i'm just going to go ahead and cover it allow it to simmer for some time before coming back now it has simmered so before coming back to so add my stock okay i'm going to add all the water stock here turn it very well after turning it like this so i'm just going to go ahead and like stir it very well first stirring it i'll just cover it okay allow it to boil for some time after it might have boiled to my satisfaction like this yes it has boiled now i'm just going to go ahead and stir it Make sure that it's not getting burnt on the bottom. Okay. So after stirring it properly like this, I'll go in with my my proteins. Yeah. Just add all my protein. Add everything. My stock fish, my dry fish, the meat, and all that's my pomo. Just going to go ahead and stir that. Okay. Stir it properly. Ensure that the bottom is not getting burnt because if it gets burnt it will spoil the taste okay i'm going to go ahead and add my all my onions and my pepper add that together stir that up make sure it incorporates very well after doing that i'll go in with my salt my 
sizzling cubes and any other thing i want to just add if you have crayfish you can just add it at this time and stir it so after stirring that and it's looking delicious look at that look at that isn't that looking lovely already so i'm just going to go ahead and cover it allow it to boil for some time maybe five ten minutes when it's boiled and it's ready i'll just open it up yeah it's boiled now just stir it very well again you can see it's all looking ready okay look at that just stir it ensure that the bottom is not getting bought in any way okay just make sure you stir it very well look at that look at that oh my god is it not looking delicious <laughs> So I'm just going to stir that up and then finally with my vegetables, okay? First add the uzuza leaf. First add that, yeah. I'm going to go ahead with add the uzuza leaf. Allow it to just, I just allow you to simmer for like two seconds or um, five seconds maximum. Just for the aroma of the uzuza to come out. See, yeah, I like it that way. So after stirring that for some time. I'll just let it just rest, just simmer for that like five seconds. So after it's ready like that, I'll just go ahead with my ogu leaf. Finally, like finally, finally, <laughs> just go ahead with my ogu leaf. Just you know, stir that up, stir it very well. Ensure that the bottom is not getting burnt. By now, my heat is on low like very low i'm about to turn it off okay i'll just go ahead in there add more vegetables if i want just add a little veg more vegetable just a little just a little just a little you know just simmer that turn that up turn that around stir it you know move it around <laughs> do whatever you want to do with it and um ah at this time it's off yeah it's off look at that Look at that. Isn't it looking yummy already? Look at that. Our uh, egusi soup is ready. Just bring in your rice. Bring in your swallow. Your eba. Yellow eba to be precise. Your pounded yam. Just bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. And bring your chilled drink. And our food is ready. Yeah. Voila. So... Thank you guys for watching. Do subscribe and share my video. Bye-bye.